Hi, I'm Connie Jorgensen. I teach political science here at Piedmont Virginia Community College, and I'm also the director of our quality enhancement plan, Civic Sense. Hi, my name is Brittany Resman. I'm the director of institutional effectiveness, uh, and I've been at the college uh, for the past three and a half months, and I hope to bring a really interesting perspective to this conversation about um, walking into a QEP halfway through the process and thinking about assessment, you know, reevaluating assessment, also assessment post-COVID. Well, just a little background about how we got here. Um, for many years, PVCC has had a fledgling civic engagement program. We registered voters, we had a conference, we did it, brought in some speakers, but that was about the extent of it. Then in August 2017, the Charlottesville community experienced the Unite the Right rally, which resulted in three deaths in our community. Many of our faculty and students were there, or they knew somebody were there, and they um, were shook. So the first thing we did when we got back to campus a couple weeks later was faculty were incredibly interested in finding ways to have civil discussions in their classrooms because this kind of thing had never come up before. Coincidentally, right around that time, we were undergoing reaccreditation with SAC COC. And part of the reaccreditation process is that you have to have a quality enhancement plan to improve services on your campus. So we put it out to a vote in the Charlottesville PVCC community, and civic engagement was the topic that was chosen. So as we were writing the document, we thought about what we wanted the outcomes to be, and we came up with three expected outcomes. After completing their time at PVCC, graduates will actively participate in civic life by voting in local, state, and federal elections, actively participate in civic life by engaging in public service or other activities that improve the condition of their communities and or the quality of people's lives, and evaluate multiple perspectives to think critically about these issues. I uh, just want to point out that these general our general education outcomes are actually the same as our QEP outcomes. And you know, from my perspective, that makes this program very unique that the QEP is aligned to general education outcomes. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah very cool. So I want to just quickly go through the student, student learning outcomes and what we do. Student learning outcome number one is that graduates will actively participate by voting in local, state, and federal elections. So we have integrated a voting module in our student development class and we are very active about registering students to vote, about providing information about candidates. We do a nonpartisan voter guide. We participate in the National Study of Learning, Voting, and Engagement. So we do everything we can to get our students engaged in voting. And in the 2020 election, 71% of PVCC students showed up to vote. Student learning outcome two is that graduates will actively participate in civic life by engaging in public service or other activities to improve their communities. So how are we going to do this at PVCC? How are we going to encourage this? Well, we now require a civic engagement course for all students in order to graduate. It's not a specific course. We don't have a three credit civic engagement course, but what we've done is we've taken existing courses and added a civic engagement component to each of the courses. And we've got one civic engagement course in every major, if not more than one. For example, we have a biology CE course, physics, business, accounting, obviously political science, sociology. And the civic engagement portion of this has to be 25% of the total course grade. We require um, in English 112 college comp uh, that they do a civic engagement writing prompt. And our one book program is consistently geared towards civic engagement. And finally, student learning outcome three is that we want our graduates to be able to um, evaluate multiple perspectives. So again, we do this in the civic engagement course. We do this in English 111 by doing a media literacy module. And we focus a lot on trying to do deliberative dialogues in order to help students understand that you can have a civil conversation, an enlightened conversation about a difficult issue 
in a safe place where um, you don't have to come up with a solution to the problem. And those are assessed through embedded assessments in those courses uh, and the graduate exit survey. And just looking at the comprehensive assessment strategy, um, to assess all three outcomes, there are initial assessments in the student development course, so that's like in the first year experience course. We also do a final, like a post-test in the graduate exit survey to see that overall growth in student behavior and student learning around those outcomes. You know, one thing that's really important to note is that we are the class of 2020 for reaffirmation. So our QEP started you know, right when the pandemic started. <laughs> so you know, we're taking the next you know, six months to really look at our current assessment strategies. Because some things, just to be honest, didn't work in a pandemic atmosphere, right? Um, and the whole point of a QEP and the whole point of assessment in general is to you know, continuously improve. So we're gonna you know, take what we learned so far and um, see how we can improve our assessment strategies, which will strengthen the QEP and strengthen our general education assessment process. And it's all good for our students because they are learning to be active, engaged citizens.